Okie doke, it looks like we are good to go, and no Katatis, it's not Muse. Hi everyone, I am Adam, one of the engine support techs up at Epic Games. I, a, uh, so if you ever, you know, have questions or anything like that on the forums, Answer Hub, we're the ones who typically are the ones you talk to. Um, this is not an Epic official stream, it is my own personal stream, which means there's a lot more cursing and a lot more, um, me flailing around helplessly while I try to figure things out and have people laugh at me. It's awesome! Okay, so, uh, in general, the stream is for people who have questions for blueprints, uh, BSPs, landscape, foliage, I can help out with other stuff sometimes, depending on the uh, specifics, uh, and if you have a math question, I will probably get it wrong. But, anyways, in the meantime, we typically work on other things. I show off um, things that uh, could be pretty cool or useful to individuals, like right now, we're going to be working in widgets for a little while. Um, and just so you know, if anyone is in here, let's check real quick if it's just Katatis or if anyone else is in here uh, currently no but if other people come in then uh, there there is a game currently of guess my favorite band I will give you the hints I gave Katatis it is a alternative rock band that was really popular in the 90s and early 2000s they are still around though they lost one of their two lead singers I'll give you a little bit of extra hint all right Katatis we'll have a look at you uh in just a little bit here. Now, widgets. Widgets are fun. Widgets are great. Oh, and by the way, uh, end of the stream, if no one has guessed it by then, I'll just probably go ahead and ruin it for everybody and tell you what it is or find some fun way to do it. Okay, back to this. Widgets. Fun, cool, awesome stuff. Very, very useful. Also, kind of weird and difficult to jump into, but once you figure them out they become significantly easier. And I learned something today that I thought I would share with you guys because I could not figure out for the life of me how to use a particular component of a widget. So I want to go ahead and share that with you guys because it is extremely, extremely useful, especially if you have things like um, multi-page menus, um, if you're trying to switch between different pages, like if you look at... Um, the old Legend of Zelda games, how they would switch between pages for, like, inventory, map, you know, stuff like that. This could, you know, potentially do something like that. So we're going to, I'm going to create a simple version, and this is something I'm going to use in the future um, to really kind of come up with something awesome. Uh, and just so you know, the, what I just did there, and a way you can quickly fill a screen if you're trying to create like a menu or something, is what you do is you set the anchor to full screen, so it will just fill up this entire box, or, well, the anchor will fill up the entire box. And then if you zero everything out, it will just fill the entire box, and then you can switch the anchor, and it remains. So that's just a cool thing I learned, uh, learned today that I did not know previously, and this is not going to be a useful... Um, option thing here. The, all, all this is here to do is to show the concept of what we're doing. Um, so let me center that. Boop, boop. And then let's go with 400 and 120. Or, or let's go with 160. That way we stick with the 4 times 4 thing. And then boom, boom. Alright, so that button, all this button is going to do is we are going to go print string, have it print hello. Okay. Now, I'm going to make one more user interface. And these probably will never be actually used, but I want to show this concept off so that when we start kind of seeing what we can do about expanding on it eventually, um, we can play with it more. And as such, we want to go ahead and have the uh, the general idea in place, because I think this would be very useful for this superhero prototype, where we're wanting to select different abilities that have different uh, attributes and stuff like that. So, this could potentially become very useful. Zero, zero, oh, sorry, I meant to go zero, zero, 
then 400 and 160 and 0.5 and 0.5. Very easy way to center an object that uh, we actually learned here on stream, and I believe it was because of Katatis, where if you have an actor that you want just centered on screen at all times, if you zero out, or if you set the anchor to this one, the middle, right? Then you zero out the position X, position Y, and then set the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5. It lines up perfectly in the center every time. Very useful thing to know. Okay, so this is going to print string. And instead of hello, we're going to print goodbye. And there's a reason I decided to, um, to go ahead and include a print string on this, and it's not just because I like print strings, which I do. Um, let's see, I need to come in here real quick, and I want to show mouse cursor, I'm going to hit true, compile, save, and we're going to go to our superhero base. Forgot about all that stuff, abilities types, boom, gamepad, boom, where's my event begin play? There we go, we don't have one yet. So we're going to create widget. Owning player, we're going to do player controller. And we're going to hit select class, and it's going to be not there yet. We need one more. Use this. Go into the superhero class of type use this. Add to viewport. So we got this going on here, which means it should be right here. Okay, there's one more thing I need to do for each of these. No, there's not. There's something I need to do in the in use this. Okay, so first things first, gonna go ahead and place two buttons on the left side. And I'm gonna come down here and go to, I believe it's panel. And there's this node, Widget Switcher. Now, widget Switcher is cool. It's very cool. Because we can come down, let's say we have user created, new widget blueprint. Boom, as you can see, fills it up. New widget blueprint, as you can see, fills it up. And you can see that we can switch between them. Kind of convenient, right? Okay, first things first, Let's go ahead and wrap each of these in a scale box. Um, reason being, if we wanted to change the scale, we could. If it's going to let me. There it goes. Then we hit, um, for now, we're just going to fill it. it. It was already filled, but this is more for, uh, for the purpose of if we wanted to change something, we could. I, I like having the option. So anyways, here is the widget switcher. And what this does is anything within the widget switcher can be switched between. How convenient, the name kind of matches what it does. And the way we do that is with this variable, active widget index. Very interesting, right? Right, I know. And you might be thinking to yourself, how do you do that? Well, it's actually quite simple. We're going to create this, and we're going to do, let's see here, grab this, hit get, set user, or set widget index, set active widget index, that's the one I was looking for, those words and things. And then we're going to come down here and do set active, or sorry, set active widget no not active widget widget index boom and we want to just set that to one so now if we come in here we have this yes it looks terrible I know it's not supposed to be pretty but as you can see it prints hello we press this button, now it says goodbye and it's green. We press this one, hello, 
goodbye. It's great, right? And let's say that's great and all, but I don't want this button, right? I just want it to be one button that does everything. Perfect. Flip-flop. Now, if we hit the button here, switches between them exactly as I would expect. We could do this with multiple things. We could do a switch on int and have that int represent the active widget index, have you know however many widgets we want within this widget switcher. We, we could have 20 selections and it just cycle through them based on what we want. If you're wanting different UI schemes, you can have different UI schemes based on the widget index or widget switch index that you use. All of this can be done with the click of a button or you know type in a console command or whatever I don't I don't know what you want to do but you can't actually type in a console command to do that that I know of so forget that but you can do all kinds of stuff with it um, and we're actually going to be using this to represent our options menus and stuff like that and uh, things where okay I want to go into the skill tree and I want to affect the physical skills great go in mess with the physical skills. I want to use the lightning skills or you know long range attacks or however we decide to set it up. Great! It won't take that long because we'll have the widget switcher already ready. We can have it placed where we want it, have all of our menus go through this one convenient location. So yeah I thought it was pretty cool and decided to give it a shot and I like it. It's simple to use and it doesn't, you know, if I don't want it to take up space, it won't. If I do, it's as simple as quite literally going, okay, boom. And then I can create a, you know, menu here. Boom. Quite simple. And, uh, yeah thought that was pretty awesome, and now you know. Uncomfortable silence. I like it. Okay, so, um, oh, that took a shit ton less time than I expected it to. I was hoping for at least 30 minutes out of that. All right. <laughs> guess, uh, guess I talk a bit faster than I, uh, than I think. And let's see. So, that was the bad guy, I believe, the target. Yes, target guy. These are destructible meshes, which um, are not destroying... Okay, hold on. So, I need to get rid of this, which is in my player character, wherever he is. Okay, he or she could end up being, you know, female characters. That's perfectly fine. Have absolutely no reason not to be inclusive. So, one of the things that has been bothering me about this is this should be doing damage, right? These long-range attacks that we've got set up here. But when they hit, they don't seem to actually... Oh! That actually worked! Oh, you know what? Because I switched it to radial, I believe. That's the only reason that's working. I guarantee the punch does not work. We're going to find out. Yeah, see, the punch doesn't work. Unless the punch applies radial damage to a small radius, which I can do. I mean, it's not like it's really changing that much. Um, hit locally authoritative access. Uh, actors within the radius will only hit components that block visibility channel.